Anthony Josh Mayweather. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about the heavyweight Mayweather, cuz? What do you know about that? Joshua, two-time world champion, back to where he belongs. Kang um, Jr. predicted that it would be a, a, a Joshua win, so you get that one as well. Um, but the discipline. Yeah, not, not, not quite... I, mean, I thought he'd stop him in about the eighth. I thought. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no. Obviously, no, no. no, I'm saying, no I mean, no, I thought he'd win, but I thought it'd be later. Um, and like you said, just I think the words you touched upon there, um, discipline, D for discipline. Wow, like you, you know, if, if it's when, it's, I think this is the those, these are the times that really show your your granite, if you ask me. That's what you show you if you're about if you're about something because. Like if, like everyone said, his haters and people that didn't think that they thought that would be it. But that just shows how bad his last performance was, right? Because everyone's like, well, hold on a minute, like how can you be this amazing superstar, that like the amazing boxer, to then be putting in performances like, like he did, right? So so you can you can see it. You can see why people will be looking at him thinking, well, if that's what he's actually really about, then there's a problem. But to come out and put on on a on a show like that, to to, to hit and not get hit, and keep making at length and just not let him. Ah, oh, it was masterclass. Masterclass. You know, the beautiful thing for me is that that's not his style. That's the thing. Like, people like Mayweather, people like Klitschko, they've made a, a living off that style because that's the way they've been doing they've for been their... They've this for a living. That's what I'm saying. They've been doing that the whole life. That's not even his style. His style is completely different. So for him to take a brand new style and to, to actually master that in that time frame, that, for me, is hats off to him. And he used his there for experiences what he did at the Olympics for me. You know, all that, all that. I, I, I disagree. Go on. I, I don't think that's like, like learning something new. He's always been able to do that because you would have had to, you, you don't get to where you get to, to them levels, to not being able to do that. But it's so, do you think that he just had that already? Yeah, no, no. But the thing is, I think he's always wanted to show that, listen, I'll knock mine's out. That's what I think it was. And that's why that I think that the catching your L sometimes helps. I, I, think, it, I, think you're taking a bit, I think you're taking away a little bit of respect from the, the camp they must have done. No, and I'm the hard not, work they've gone to do. To I, actually do that for the whole fight, bro. I'm not taking no respect away from what he's done because. Look at the way he's. They put. They got the best people in there because obviously you know he's paying that mm. that the zone money, yeah. But, but when you've got the best people on 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 site, right? To, mm. to to you can't take anything away from you know Rob McCracken. I'm not hearing enough at the moment about people bigging up McCracken because everyone off to get on his case. When he <laughs> got me. beat, they were like, oh, get oh, we will get him out first. Get him out first off. <laughs> Let's just get rid of him. Yeah, and then all of a sudden he wins. Everyone's out. Well done, Josh. AJ, you done this, and he and McCracken, he just he basically sat in the back going, right, "Listen, just everyone, just chill, do what you got to do." But they 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 went they went away. They put together a game plan, and he's executed it to 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 a T. There was bits in there, there was times in there where I thought to myself, "Whoa, hold on a minute, listen, that's not what you if that's what your game plan is about, you know, hitting, not get hit, stay out of the ring." There was too many times that I thought he left himself in the pocket for too long because I think that's where that that a little bit of showmanship comes in because he's like, "You know what? I, I can take this guy out." Then it's almost telling yourself, "Listen." Come out. Let's that's 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 what I'm saying. That's why for me, like, I literally take my hat off to him because his old style. You know that, like, his instinct was like, I need to, I need to, I need to come back here. And, I, to, yeah. and I can knock this guy out now. I yeah. said and he had to tell himself. He had to tell himself. Come listen, out. Yeah. To switch out. But that for me, that's what I'm saying. That's not his normal thing. So for him to do that is unbelievable. And the people that make me laugh the most, make me laugh the most. They're saying that, oh, AJ just ran around, just ran around. So when Mayweather does it, Mayweather is the best ever boxer to live on this planet. Soon as AJ does it, suddenly. He's running scared and he doesn't want to get involved. When Fury's, when Fury's doing it, listen, that's what I, I, mean, I haven't really seen what he's. I've not heard Fury talk too much about this fight, but normally he's quick to talk smack. But even he must have looked at that and thought, well, I hope so. I hope so, because you've got to put respect on it. To come in lighter as than usual, he looked a lot leaner yesterday. I mean, I mean that's mental. Me that is mental that I'm saying that for Joshua. But normally you can see that his muscles have got muscles have got muscles. But yesterday you look at him and think, you know what? He looks. Yeah, she looks like he's conditioned, like conditioned, and he was skipping around in the tenth. That's uh, what I'm saying. Uh, listen, there's, there's. No, I'm not taking anything. I'm not saying. The reason I disagree with you is because I think that he's always had that in him to be able to do it, mm. but he's having the discipline to actually do it, to actually say. There's a couple of times when he got caught, and I watched him. And I thought to myself, ah, oh, that's it. He's just trying to trade now to show that. Listen, that didn't hurt me. But to, to, what he did was was to take the shot and realize that there's other ways to win this round, which which is going to be. You know when those jabs, when he was snapping them jabs out and mate, his neck was popping back and you're thinking to yourself, there you go, that's the telling stuff. Yeah. So yeah, for me, like, you know, to, to, to do that and, and to be written off by so many people, a high percentage of people, to be written off to say that is it, to then put in a performance as, as clinical as that, listen, that's, that's, 
Some mad shit. The fact that he's two time world champion is, is amazing in itself, right? But I think the, the exciting thing that came out for me from this fight is that this adds a whole new dimension now when you talk about Wilder and AJ. Everyone thought that AJ was quite one dimensional, saying that he's a robot, blah, blah, blah. Now he's coming, like you said, at, the, at that weight just underneath 17 stone, and he's looking a lot neater, looking on his toes, he's moving around. This now makes the even fight even more appealing than it, I think that it was before. Not because the L's have gone and stuff, but now you're thinking, hold on, AJ might be able to do this, or might be able to do this in this fight. And does Wilder have that same you know, dimension that you can turn to? Wilder, I don't know. Wilder will fold men in, mm. a, in, a, in a heartbeat. But do you hear what I'm saying? I hear what, I, hear, I completely hear what you're saying, because I was having this conversation with somebody else. I hear what you're saying completely, but with Wilder, and I, 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 this is my opinion on him has changed, because I was very much so of the mindset of, I can't see, you know, if you put Wilder up against a proper boxer, there's, there's going to be a problem. Yeah, but, but you can put Wilder up against anybody. He's proven that, listen, I'm not going to change what I do, because I know that I will get a shot off. Yeah. Like, even yesterday, Ruiz, for however poor he was yesterday, and... A lot of that goes to AJ. A lot of it is his own stuff, right? Because he wasn't... We'll talk about that next. Yeah, we will. But what I'm saying is, Wilder doesn't need that. Wilder 15 stone. Wilder ain't going to come in at 20 stone. He's 15 stone. And he will... If he buttons AJ with one of those shots that, that even Ruiz caught him with yesterday, that it's lights out. Because Wilder's proven that I can, I can button someone in the 12th and fold a man. And I can button someone in the 2nd and they fold. So that for me is is a is, is it's an interesting is an interesting way to put it because it's almost then saying how does AJ treat that fight? Does he think I'm gonna run for, not run but I'm gonna keep on the back foot for twelve rounds? Taller man, he's got he's a got he's a better puncher. So you know it's it's just an interesting dynamic. Wilder won't change. The one that interests me more now is how he is gonna up go up against Fury, and I think that will make Fury think twice. I think that's not bad. Though. Like you know what he's done there. Everything that I've said about him being a dosser and a bum and he's a robot and all that sort of thing, he's actually he's probably going to think to himself, I'll tell you what, that's not bad, that. Because if he fights like that against me, then I've got, then, then there's two people fighting a similar game, then it literally comes down to who has the cleaner work mm. and, the, and, and, the, and the more telling shots, which will be AJ in smaller pockets. I still think Fury's the best out of all of them. I think Fury, that style is, is been his, that's his style for a long time, that's kind of his thing. But what, what AJ done yesterday proved to me that the guy, the, he, he, you know, he's, a, he's serious, man. He is serious. Like, you know, and uh, everyone doubted it for a bit because everyone was like, well, hold on a minute. Maybe Eddie Hearn has, you know, guided his career so well that he's been able to avoid any hiccups or bumps along the way. And, and this, this is great. And when he did show a bump, it looked like, because he, did, he was so bad that night against Ruiz, the first fight. He was so bad. Even Ruiz thought, I'll <laughs> take this guy out again if he's going to be that bad. But it shows that, you know, Hard work and his commitment to what he wants to do and what he wants to achieve and where he wants to go in his career shows that, listen, he's capable of anything. And I think that's another thing. He would prove to himself yesterday, I am capable of anything. Yeah. I think, you know, like we've talked about before, there's been a number of champions who've lost and then taken their career on. You know how it feels to lose. Yeah. So I just hope that he can carry on excelling from this point on. Yeah. And I don't ever want to feel like that again. You yeah. know, I don't want to go for that again. Yeah, exactly. And now we can move on to Ruiz. Now, you just said about the performance of uh, AJ being so good. And his performance being a bit one again, once again, one dimensional. Didn't really have any ideas to get in and do anything different for the whole fight. You thought, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. But he didn't really do anything different. You think, okay, like he's gonna put it on him now, right? And then at the end of the after the fight, he goes, "I was out partying too much." What? What? I've lost all respect for him. You know that those comments there. That's exactly. I lost. I lost all respect because. Even if you were, yeah, that's on you. That's on you. AJ, he mentioned something in the interview yesterday. I'll write about it in my book when I'm done, all right? And I'm sure he will talk back to what actually happened in the first fight because AJ was not himself. Let's make no bones about that. You can tell by the reaction of his old man afterwards. And there was those little things that said that he wasn't himself. But he didn't. He was, he was humble. The humility was there. He said, listen, got beat. I'll catch my L and I'll move on. Yeah, and I'll come back stronger. This guy got beat yesterday and said, yeah, hey, I say I was out partying. I was enjoying the high life. I'm the first ever Mexican champion, heavyweight. It's like, listen, brother, what you achieved was mad. That could have propelled you to, that, that tells me what, everything I need to know about Ruiz's career. That, if, you, if you see him much more from now, it will be because there'll be a big payday and there'll be a heavyweight who's on his way back and he could be a stepping stone. Because I think that shows me that he enjoyed, if he was enjoying himself from the first fight, Imagine what he's gonna be enjoying himself like after this fight, <laughs> when he's making all that money. Nah, I'm not. So I'm sorry. That, that's, he's no, there's no humility, and you've got no one to blame but yourself. So don't come out into the press and media and say, 
I apologise to my fans. I should have trained harder. What? Player, you came in at 20 stones, bruv. 20 stones. I think people got the idea that you didn't train hard enough when you walked on them scales at 20 stones. <laughs> that, look, you know, as boxers, yeah, they know themselves, like even uh, Ruiz, yeah, you only get one chance. You sometimes only get one chance. How are you got this chance and got there and then suddenly out here partying when you knew immediately after you won that fight, the rematch is going to be there? So you already knew that immediately. The clause so is there. Yeah, it's not like it's the fights, the, the rematch has been called out afterwards. You out there living your best life. Yeah. And suddenly come, no, it wasn't. So that, that's what you said. It tells me everything I need to know about Ruiz. But also, this also gives me a lot, a lot, a lot of respect for the people who have been champions and held those belts for a long time. Yeah. Because that shows you this is not just about boxing skills. It's about mental strength. If you look at Fury, what he went through as well. I'm not saying he's a weak person. I'm saying to get through what he's done and come through where it shows his strength there. But sometimes when you get to that level, it's not easy to remain there. Mm. So that's what I'm saying about AJ to hold the belts for how long he did. And then now to go again and win it again, it shows you this, the, the guy's character. But look at and same with Wilder as well. Well, Klitschko. Klitschko, that's what I'm saying. You say whatever you want, and let, even Lennox. People have their own opinions about these people. We won't go to Lennox about you. We obviously know that. But, but, but the, the, the point is the longevity in the careers. Like even your Mayweather, everyone talks about him having this party lifestyle or whatever. But obviously, when it comes down to business, these mates go to work. Mm. They mm. go to work. And like Ruiz, again, half of me sort of saying, listen, I can't I'm not going to deny you that. Of, you know, go and live your best life because you have done something that a lot of people wish they had the opportunity to do, but you've done it. But that's 12 weeks. You had a, just a 12 week camp. Do you know what I mean? It's 12, it's, it's 12 weeks. And, and listen, 12 weeks is a long time when you've got to, do, when you've got to go slugging up hills and you've got, to, you know, got to hit the gym and whatever. It's 12, but it's 12 weeks. That's your job. Do you know what I mean? Just, oh, it's disappointing because, I, like, and, and even then, I think there's two, sides, there's two sides of it. One is that there's no excuse for that. The other part is you got to show some humility, player. You got to come in there and say, "Listen, I got worked up. That's my fault. Don't blame anybody else. No one wants to hear their excuses because that's exactly what they are. That's on you. I was not good enough for this fight, and I was beaten by the better man. Respect to this guy because he's done something that I didn't think he had the ability to do. He's out there screaming for the third fight because obviously he's just about that Moolah. At the end of the day, that's all he wants. But if that is, if you want, to keep going if on. you want the third fight, then the last thing you come out is and say, "I wasn't up to the fight because I was out partying." I was at a party. You, you don't. You can't be saying stuff like that because then, then all of a sudden everyone's gonna be like, "Hold on, well, if I don't want to take this fight, I can't swerve it." You've now given me every opportunity to now swerve that fight because let's be honest, AJ's got bigger priorities in his life now, which is going to be to unify that division and fight the biggest names and whatever. Ruiz now could fall into oblivion. Let's be honest. I don't think he will. I no, think but he could. He could, but I don't think he will. I think that there's people out there already wanting that fight. Like, I see Dylan White uh, and Dean White already saying, listen, let's get this thing going. That'd be a war. It would be a great fight. It would be a great fight. And quickly touch on Dylan White before we finish up this video. I mean, Dylan, it was a disappointing performance. I think he would say that himself. But I don't, listen, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to hold anything against Dylan White for that because one thing I would say is, yeah, there's a lot of people that talk smack about Dylan White. Mm. A lot of people have a lot of things to say and jumped to a lot of conclusions. But, He's obviously got proven that he was not guilty. So, and we said that from straight away. Exactly. Because I hope we can reserve judgment because that doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. How can you pass that many tests, that many tests, that many tests? Have the the, the drug, the 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 part, the the, the agency, whatever it is, that that Zivada that are affiliated to his WBC route, whatever it was, to then strip him immediately to say, listen, take his belt away, take his status away, for the guy who wasn't even guilty in the end, to now make him having to fight all the people again to just to get to that. Nah, nah. Whatever he's done, yeah, I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't see the guy every single day, but whatever he's done to piss off those bo boxing border controls, is, 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 there's, there's obviously more to it because you can't put somebody through what they put him through and then expect him to be ready, to be at, to be, you know, boom, ready to go and fight on, on a stage like this. Equally, he can't turn this opportunity down because he needs to fight. That's the standard. So I, I've got sympathy for Dylan White and I hope, and I really hope, that people start putting some respect on Dylan White and start saying, you know what, yeah, you know what, it was wrong. Even when the results came out, basically that was just a F you to everyone, basically. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It was. And we said that from day one, it's, it's too fishy, but we were going to reserve our judgment yeah. until we hear what's for, uh, to see what the and outcome was. And the reason, reason being, I cannot understand how you can keep a man from working. Yeah, you, This guy basically, you, you stopped him from working. Yeah, So that's his income, that's his supply, whatever. You stopped a man from working for something that... You've tested him for 40 times, <laughs> Is 50 it? times. He's nuts, bro. By a different point, and then somebody else comes in and says, I think, because that's, that's basically what's happened. I think that, 
he's taking steroids. And that's a statement, but that's what it is, basically, isn't it? It's a performance enhancing, whatever. He, he takes a, there's a, I'm going to give you my findings. This is what I think happened. So that means he's going to go to work again next day, and next day, next day. But the effect is on this other guy, who you're stopping him from going to work. Nah. There's got to be, there's got to be consequences and repercussions. And there needs to be someone on his side, Dylan White's side. I'm hoping it's going to be Eddie Hearn to come out and say, right, listen, you lot stripped him that belt. Give it back to him. That was his status. Give it back to him. Not, shitting, not going to shit on anybody else who has been fighting in, this, in that time to get closer to that status. But if you can strip him like that, you can reinstate him like that, I'm afraid. Because it, he was not wrong. You lot were wrong. So you lot have to pay. It's mad. Madness. It's mad. Um, and just before, just before we wrap up, yeah. So Andy Ruiz, is he now, for you, uh, does his fight show that he's only one dimensional? He's only got one way of fighting? Because first, nah. because, because first of all, after the first win, everyone's saying, you know what, Andy Ruiz is this. He's got a lot of boxing skills, blah, 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 rare, rare, rare. And suddenly, in this fight, it was pretty much like he was just looking for that one haymaker and just didn't land. He's learned, I, I don't think he's one-dimensional. I think he's learned his lesson now. Mm. Like, and it's a shame that you learn it at this stage. At this stage, yeah. But, but the flip side, like Anthony Joshua, it takes, like, it takes an L to, for you to learn. Mm. This L is, is the most clinical L that he's had, right? He's only had two L's in the past. The other was Park, no, Parker and this one are two L's. Parker fight, many people thought he won, right? So he had that hunger to think, no, hold on, I didn't lose I didn't that lose fight, fight, yeah? yeah? Whereas this one, is, is, this is the, this is an L. This is a capital in block capital L. So now he's actually got to, got to go away and think, you know what? I need this. I, I can't. This is my career on the line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I don't think he's one dimensional. Like and I think that, like you said, there is going to be fights there for him. But he has not covered himself, you know, in, in glory because, you know, he would have been talking about fighting the Wilders, Furies, U6, whatever that are out there. Now he's going to have to settle for fighting probably something like a Huey Fury. I disagree. I, I, I think if, if he um, goes on to fight from this, from the, these two fights he had with Joshua, he could land some biggish fights in there because the money could, I think the interest will still be there. So I, that's if he's managed well and he goes into it properly. If he goes here and just goes missing, then like you said, he will disappear into the, into the dirt for me. You're right. But I think hopefully he rides this wave yeah. because everyone knows who he is. And I think he, there's some fights for him. Like I said, Dylan White probably needs his name as well just to keep himself yeah. relevant. So, and to be fair, let's, make, let's, let's not make any bones about it. Andy Ruiz could turn around and say, I ain't fighting no more. If you really want, just worst case scenario, he's made for life. These last two fights would have set him up for life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a multi-millionaire. That's so, it, he's done his thing. And to wrap this video up, where, what happens next? Because I believe, uh, to my knowledge, is that Joshua has to fight Usyk next. Well, he's got, I think he's got two mandatories or something like that yeah. that he has to do. And they're yeah. talking about potentially three mandatories in a year. I don't think the boxing board, the boards that are out there will... Uh, the, it, you, you, you don't want to make him vacate them belts because he is global and he's it, and it, it builds their brand to have him as your champion. Right? But do you think that Usyk one will probably be next? I think yes. I will have to fight Usyk because I think he's an he's a mandatory. I think that's the first one. And Fury and obviously uh, Wilder. Wilder have to fight, so it can make sense. Good, risky? It, it, it's a good fight. Uh, well, if he fights the way he fought yesterday, I think he'll be okay because he can. I think he'll have the ability to knock potentially knock Matey out yeah. because he's a bigger guy, but. Obviously, Usyk's no joke. Do you know what I mean? The guy's a special fighter. I just don't think that he'll possess the power to, to knock Joshua out. I and, and I don't think he'll be able to keep Joshua off for 12 rounds. I believe that too. All right, so to wrap this video up, let us know your thoughts on this video, the fight, the, our comments on the both of our fighters, and do you think we're wrong uh, in, in what we said about Ruiz uh, and, and about AJ as well? So. And yeah, I would love to hear what everyone thinks about Dylan White as well uh, and his situation and what next for, for, uh, for Joshua and what next for Ruiz. Um, I'll be really keen to see what people think because I'm sure after that, after what you saw last night, a lot of people are going to be split on, on what happens with Ruiz. And I'm really keen to hear what people think um, the next stage will be for, for AJ. So until then, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe and comment. Peace. Peace.